Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I really, really, really wanted to film this uh, for you guys. Fashion Nova review. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm pretty sure you've seen it on Facebook or Instagram. I'll show you guys that, the pieces that I bought from them. And I wanted to share with you my experience. It is not the first time that I purchased from Fashion Nova. I think it might have been two years ago. One of the pants I ended up giving away. The dress that I bought, um, I got it in large. It was a very nice dress. When I tried it on, I stretched it out from the top and from, you know, the bottom area. It was like the San Andreas fault. Like, you can totally see the rayita, the dimples on the cheeks not cute at all so i ended up giving that to my sister so i went on their website i started just picking out the clothes that i wanted that i wanted to buy so um you know i bought them i checked out i ordered this on december 10th i got an email saying that they received my order they did mention that because of the holidays my shipment was going to be delayed this is going to come out late which is totally understandable again so um after that i make the order um a week goes by and i don't receive any tracking information so at this point i'm a little nervous and a little concerned because throughout that week youtube reviews on fashion nova and oh my goodness was there so many bad reviews like people were talking smack so i started getting really nervous because i literally spent a coin on these items my husband's gonna be watching this and he's gonna be like uh, you spent a coin actually he helped me pay quite a bit i was really nervous because a lot of girls were saying that they were getting robbed that it was a scam a lot a ton of girls would you know say oh my god the the sizes on those clothes are a little weird and at this point I'm feeling so nervous because you know I spent a lot of money on this clothes and I still haven't gotten a tracking number or any type of information on my package. I emailed them and right away I got a response but it wasn't them it was like their automated uh, system that I got an email from. And then I think it was later on that day, I got an email saying that, um, you know, they were sorry, they apologized. It's just like they were backed up from all the orders because of the sales, holiday stuff. Okay, okay, so that calmed me down. After a week and a couple of days, I got another email saying that two of my items were sold out and that they were gonna give me a gift card for the items that uh, were sold out. So that kind of bummed me out because if they're sold out, why wouldn't it say on their website? They just didn't refund me the money back in my card. They give me a gift card, which I mean, I don't really care. It's clothes. I'm most likely gonna shop at their store again. So on December 22nd, I got another email saying that, you know, great news, your order is in, um, it's on its way. So I got, you know, the tracking number. On December 24th, I got another email that it was already here, like by where I live, and that I was going to get my package on December 26th. So I was very relieved. They also text messaged me and emailed me that the package arrived at my house. I'm going to be showing you guys what I purchased and if I think the clothes is worth it and if the clothes are good quality. I hope I don't forget things to tell you, like questions that I had, you guys probably have. So if I forget to mention anything in this video, just leave a question down below and I will be more than happy to answer your question. Okay, by the way, um, the package came, it came in a big old bag and inside the bag, there was, there was a packing slip, there was a return form, letter saying, sorry, 
babe um fashionably late blah blah basically blah. saying that they're sorry because the order was a little delayed everything came very nicely uh packaged in these clear baggies i'm gonna go ahead and open everything so we speed this up I got five pairs of jeans, I got two dresses, two shirts, three shirts, and one, two, three, four coats. First shirt that I purchased was this black one right here. It's more like a crop top. This one is the to the point T in large, and this was $12.99. And it looks like this. Um the quality is like a normal t-shirt. Basically what you get at like a Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe or something or a Gachi, something in that. I'm thinking of trying it on just so you guys can see what it would look like. But I'm just a little shy. I don't know. Maybe at the end of the video I will show you guys what they look like on me. Um, I'm not skinny, okay? If you are on the thicker side, you probably want to keep watching. If you're interested in buying Fashion Nova and you want to see what it would look like. Because me, I was looking at the model and I was like, well, my body is not like the models. I don't look like that. So it was actually kind of hard if the clothes will fit me because it's a totally different shopping online on shopping in person where you can try on the clothes and you know it's going to fit. So... If you are, you know, a curvilicious girl like me, then this video might be very informative. Let's move on. Second shirt that I purchased is this sweater-like shirt. And it's kind of thin. You can probably see my face through it. But it feels like it's really warm. It's really soft. This one is called Off With His Head Sweater. In the color wine and i also got in large and this was 22.99 and the model had it like you know one shoulder off but you can also wear it like both your shoulders like this i already tried this on and it looks really 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 cute with high-waisted jeans and it looks like this the um, the arms right here is really tight and then it's kind of like that bat, what do they call those shirts? The bat, when the mangas are like bigger here, I don't know what you would call that, the bat shirts, I don't know. Pero se mira bien cute. Little sheer, but the material is really good and it's warm. The next shirt I got is this green t-shirt. Also, it's a little thin. I'm pretty sure you can see my face through it. It's the Bella Basic V-neck pocket top. And I got it in large. And this was $12.74. It looks like this. It's just your classic uh, V-neck shirt. Not bad for every day. I really like it. Um, I'm not mad at it. So that's that. Now I got this dress right here. And I already tried it on, by the way. And let me tell you, it did not fit me. It fit me, but um, the bottom area, it's a little too short, like you can see. But I did like it for like, you know, when with black leggings and boots. I think it'll look really cute. Um, this one is the All The Way Up Tunic. I think that's how you say it, in olive. And I got the size extra large because I know I stretch out the clothes. And I didn't want the same thing that happened to the previous dress to happen with these ones. So, this is what this looks like. This part um, cinches your waist area, so it makes it smaller. This actually gives you a really, really nice figure. This looks really cute. The prices, so far, I feel like are very affordable. And the quality is pretty good. It's what you get. Out of Forever 21 or Charlie Rose, like I said, fits on so good, you guys. I tried it on already, and no se ve nada. There's nothing see through. The quality is on fucking point, and the dress is really, really cute. It's the dress, me queda como anillo al dedo. This one is called the C bone dress, C 
T-bone, T-bone dress in black, and I got it in an extra large. This was $34.99, and it looks like this. It has buttons. These buttons don't really open, um, but this dress, it said on their uh, website that it's a mid, mid-rise dress. So, I mean, if you have curvy, you know, body, I, when I wear uh, short dresses, the back always shortens up, like in, like this one. When I wear dresses, it kind of sometimes act like shirts and not really as dresses. This one doesn't do that. Y no se ve nada, like everything is smooth, you can't see dimples, you can't see anything. I really, really, really love this dress. It's really comfortable and warm as well. I don't have anything bad to say about this dress. It feels a little heavy. The quality is really, really good. This dress is it's it's awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the bottoms. Now, this first pair of pants, I'm gonna get it over with because it's my least favorite. This is one of those items that you see. They make memes about it, like um expectations versus reality this is one of those things like i freaking laughed my ass off my husband did too when i tried this on now i purchased these latex pants and i got them in a size extra large and they were 24.99 it's called the leslie skinny leggings and it's in black now they look like this i don't know have you guys ever seen American Horror Stories? And if you guys seen it, uh, the show, I think it's the first or second season when it's like the haunted house and there's like a man dressed in like this full latex bodysuit. I don't know why, but it freaking reminded me of that. Um, these pants are not the business. The quality, it's not good. It almost feels like something that you would buy at party city like a costume and it's extremely overpriced $24.99 for this no i do not recommend this i'm not buying any latex anything because it's not cute like not cute and it had like a zipper here i mean it fit me cimento but it's just not flattering at all and the material it's like look at the inside Está delgadito. It just not the business. I mm -mm. the next uh, are all jeans, and I'm gonna go with my favorite favorite pair of jeans. Oh my god! I was so nervous when I was opening the jeans, and I started to try them on because of the fact that I saw the reviews saying that all the jeans were funky and they were like the, the size were funky and they didn't fit good and yada 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 me luckily i did not have a problem with any of the jeans they all fit so good and they ugh, literally fit like a fucking glove all my jeans i got in a size 13. this first pair of jeans um are my favorite out of all of them and this one is called don't you wish ankle jeans and the color is medium blue wash and i got it in a size 13 and the price was 34.99 now these are high-waisted these actually do go high-waisted i bought more jeans that say they're high-waisted but on me they didn't go all the way up to my belly button this one actually goes all the way up to my belly button and the front looks like this it's um really stretchy freaking comfortable these feel they don't feel like a jegging they feel like jeans but they don't feel like the thick ass jeans where the inside se siente como rasposo this doesn't feel like that this feels like good quality jeans and it's extremely comfortable i love the distress it's not too distressed like no tienen los big ass hoyotes and the ankles look like this i thought it was so cute and they don't go all the way down they literally go on the sala the little bone the bolita on the ankle they stop right there so these would look really cute with some like heels some booties with sandals like look at these they're so cute and then the back 
have uh, some distress on it as well. So that looks, I mean, it makes it look really cute. This is the back of the, this is the front. This is the back of the ankle part. These jeans are everything. These are my favorite pairs of jeans. <laughs> the next pair I got Arctic Fox ankle jeans in dark denim also in size 13 and these were $29.99 these are I want to say a little thicker but they don't feel cheap they're also look at that super 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 stretchy they fit on point they don't have that much distress but still it looks really cute and the ankles look like this Really nice quality. I, I really, really like the inside. doesn't feel rough. It feels really great quality. Um, I, I don't have anything bad to say. I was literally waiting like, like fuck. I was waiting to not like the jeans. I was like, there's something that I'm not going to like about these jeans. I was looking at them. I was like, I told my husband, I was like, that looks like it's not going to fit. As soon as I tried them on, I was like, oh crap. The other pair that I got, <clears throat> these are called Despacito High Rise Jeans in Medium Wash. These were $27.99. And that, this is what these look like. And the whole reason why I purchased these ones were the ankle. I thought the ankle part was really different. Um, the back looks like this. And then the front has like a little cut. To be just completely honest with you, this looks like someone literally grabbed scissors and went like this and went like that. To be honest. For me, I kind of like that look. But for some people, they're going to be like, what the hell, I could do this. The back on these jeans don't have any distress. No está roto, no está nothing. And the front, it looks like this. This one also has a stretch, like a really nice stretch. And the last pair of jeans called Not Just a Pretty Face Jeans, and they're in medium blue wash, size 13. The price is $24.99. And the front looks like this. Very stretchy. Again, the, this one has like a little bit of ripped here. This one has slit. On the knee this is the other side también tiene slit right here a little bit of distress here the ankles look like this similar to the other ones but this one doesn't look like someone cut it <laughs> the back did I show the back already I don't think so they look like that I don't have anything bad to say about the jeans definitely gonna be purchasing more jeans maybe the same ones because i know what they're gonna fit just in different uh color just to be on a safer Coats side that i wanted to show you this one is called the business casual coat black i got it extra large and the price is 36.99 now this coat is really really fancy but it had this is what it looks like it has like a like a wavy here to it it's black so it's kind of hard to see um it doesn't have buttons it's just está abierto de aquí. if you guys want to close it si tiene su little like su little wrap around thingy wrap around thingy oh my god but you know what i mean right the little esta cosita que you wrap it around i don't know what it's called but and it goes all the way down to your ankles like it's really really long i feel like you have to be careful with this material if you are wearing like a bracelet with um como diamantitos i feel like this it's easy to like tug on those bracelets that are like little diamonds you guys know which ones i mean that are sometimes stretchy i feel like with that kind of um accessories like this material will tug y luego se va a mirar como una like un hilito jalado, if you guys know what I mean, is this kind of material. I really like this coat. My husband um, picked it The second it out. coat I got, I got it in large. So the name of this coat, it's called the Big City Girl Coat. 
in the color taupe and this was 42.49 and it looks like this it's, all, it's actually one of those longer coats as well just like the black one that goes all the way down this coat is really warm the same material that is in the outside it's on the inside so está bien calientito i really really like this coat it's really pretty the only thing como que no me gustó that i thought was kind of chafita and i'm going to show you guys is the edge of this coat like la forma como lo cosieron i feel like they did like a sucky job at it um this remind me of a freaking now i'm gonna go again with the costumes because it's, it's literally what it reminds me of. There's a costume at Party City. It's um, the Pocahontas one. And like the edge. It's like literally the same. If you are not picky about the structure or la cocida. You might like it. Me personally, I'm a little picky. And I mean, I like it. It's warm and it looks pretty. Pero si alguien te va a mirar de cerquitas y va a ver, oh, a ver, like, they're going to notice this. This, I feel like they should have done a better job en la costura de esto. And it's, like, the same all around. Like, todo, todo el coat, all the edges is the same. Even this little part, it's the same. Like, la misma costura it just, I don't know, they, they, they could have done a little bit better. I'm, it's still wearable. I'm still going to use it. It's really warm. Pero, I mean, look. It's just la manga. Okay? Edges no me gusto. I like, also, it has pockets. The other coat, it has pockets as well. Um, creo que tiene pockets. Oh, no. Mentiras. No tiene pockets. I could have sworn it had pockets, though. But other than that, I like it. The only problem that I had with this coat are the edges. I've been wanting a furry coat for the longest. I just haven't found one that is wearable and cute and nice. But I found these. And this one is called the Fernanda Fur Coat in Nude. I got an extra large, and this was $44.99. And it looks like this. This coat, um, I felt like was a little bit short. I would have liked it to at least, like, go down to my hip area. I'll try it on sometime later on in this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is what this looked like. Um, the inside is very nice. No, it doesn't feel chafón. Um, the only thing that I kind of noticed is that it kind of sheds like a shitload. It has pockets on the sides, which I like. Here are the pockets. Overall, this coat is really thick. It, it'll keep you warm. It's heavy and it feels, you know, pretty good quality. The very last coat that I got, the For Real Fur Coat in Natural Combo. And I got it in extra large. And this was $89.99. Now, uh, first of all, on the previous coat, I wish I would have gotten a 1X because on the shoulder part area, like if I go like this, se siento un poquito apretado. That was the only problem I had with that coat. And the other one, the, the nude one, the long one. I don't know if it's because estoy ancha o estoy bustona. Sometimes that happens to me. Um, it happens to me pretty often when I buy jackets or... Uh, coats anyways just because i didn't want to forget to say that now this coat feels a lot like a lot like better quality than the previous fur coat and it looks like this this one's long it goes all the way down y la costura se mira muy bien um i love that it just i don't know it just it looks really well made um i hope it lasts a long time because this was not cheap it's so soft it's softer than the previous coat and it just it looks 
so good it's heavy like it's heavy you guys good. and when i tried this on i did not have the problem of it fitting um snug on the shoulder area like i was able to go like this and like no se sentia apretado or anything like that so if you guys are looking for a furry coat long very nice i do recommend this it's really warm and it's thick um i don't have anything bad to say about this coat i freaking love it and i can't wait to use it and this one doesn't have pockets which oh actually oh my god it does have pockets it was hiding no se nota but it does have pockets right there there you go and it doesn't have um no tiene para cerrarse the other coat actually i forgot i forgot to show you this coat you're able to close it it doesn't have a zipper it just has little like little um hang like little ¿Cómo se dice? Like little hooks. It has hooks and you're able to hook it and you're able to close the front. This one, this one doesn't have anything. It's just completely open. Like once you have like a dress or some skinny jeans and a crop top, like a white crop top with some like nude heels and this coat. Oh my God, I feel like it's going to look bomb. But yeah, that was it. I'm going to... um try these on for you guys i hope i didn't miss anything and i hope this video was informative for you guys not just for my subscribers but for the viewers anybody out there and i hope that this video in general helped you in any type of way from a scale of a zero to a ten i give it i literally give it an eight simply because the shipping was a little bit uh, too i mean when they advertise things like this that's like i didn't eh. items that i purchased was out of stock when in fact in their website it says that they're still in stock that's the only thing that kind of bothered me other than that um yeah without further ado i'm gonna try these on and show you guys what they look like on me and yeah Thank you.